The reason people endorse candidates, particularly presidential candidates, is because they believe that that candidate, if elected, is going to help their purpose, their cause, and advance their mission. The IRS just endorsed Kamala Harris. The IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. You know those people that you cuss every April 15th or if you get an extension October 15th? Yeah, those sons of bitches that weaponized 87,000 new agents so they could come for your stuff. You know that whole taxation without representation? You remember they spilled tea in 1773 in Boston Harbor? Over a 3% tax and now you're at what, 40, 45, 48? I don't know. And we just sit there like a bunch of cucks just taking it? Oh, the IRS just endorsed Kamala Harris. All right, I just wanted to stop the video just so that I could let you know that this is 100% true before any disgruntled meta world inhabitors or, you know, trolls get into my comments and start telling me this is false information and so on and so forth. You can look it up. This is public information. It's more specifically the NTEU, National Treasury Employees Union. For a lot of you, this won't be an issue. However, I guess this begs the question, what type of American are you? Are you the type that likes to take the shaft every year, year after year for the rest of your life until it is over? Or would you like some say so in where your money's going and how much of it is going there? You see, I'm the type who feels like if I purchase, say, a home or a land, I should not have to pay taxes on that because I bought it. I own it. This is now my property. So what right does someone have some entity some soulless, you know, we used to use terms like cold blooded. That's cold blooded. And that's because only a soulless entity, a spiritless entity would do such a thing to take our birthright, our natural earthly rights and, and to exploit us the way that they do. I find it to be despicable. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that Donald Trump is about to cut taxes on everything, but just do your due diligence. Know what you're voting for. You don't have to just follow and go along because you feel like it's something that you inherited and it's your duty to keep on doing the same exact thing. Even though you have, you have such technology, you have a different outlook on life, you have so many different avenues to turn these days. You know, there was once upon a time when black folks only voted Republican. But I'll let him continue to say what he has to say. I just feel like maybe we should do a little bit more research. Listen to me. If you love money, you vote for Donald Trump. He ain't your pastor. He ain't your husband. He ain't your preacher. He's not your moral guide. He's the dude that's going to get this stuff done. The IRS endorse Kamala Harris and you're thinking about voting for her? You just voted for your own execution, you dumb.